It's Teach Tuesday and today I'm going to show you guys how to take an old gag and transform it into an awesome impromptu magic trick. For this trick you're going to need a coin and a pen. That's it. The idea is to make the coin disappear. I'm going to close the hand and watch this. Still there. One, two, three. The, wait, no, the coin is still there but the pen is gone. Did you see where it went? Actually went behind my ear. Let's try that again. One, two, three, and the coin disappears. The neat thing is you can now bring it back behind somebody's ear or anywhere else you'd like. So we'll break down the secret to this one in two steps. The first step is making the pen disappear, which is pretty simple, pretty obvious. In fact, if you're watching in the performance video, you may have even seen the move uh, if you look in the mirror behind me. Uh, so what you do is you have the coin, you close your hand, you count one, two, three, making these big motions. And each time you're getting the audience used to the, the pen uh, coming into their view and out of their view, into their view, out of their view. And on two, you're going to drop it behind your ear. You're going to place it right there. So one, two, three. And the pen disappears. You'll want to practice loading the pen. Certain pens work better than others, and everyone's ears are a little bit different. I know if, uh, if you have glasses, it can be a little tough to get the pen uh, to, to fit in there with the band of the, the glasses. So it, it'll take some practice. Just, uh, just practice that move until you can get it in one smooth motion, just like that. Now, after you've uh, revealed that the, the pen has disappeared, uh, pause for just a moment here to let that kind of sink into people because they might not notice right away that the pen is gone. And uh, you're going to then turn your head and reveal where the pen was. And this is the important part because as soon as you turn your uh, head, you're going to let your arms drop down to your side and you're going to put the coin into your pocket. Uh, of course, you still want to pretend like you have it in your hand. And as you point and, and look at the uh, the pen, the audience will be looking up there. They're not going to see you just drop that into your pocket. Then you grab the pen, bring your hand with the apparent coin back up, and do the same idea, making the coin disappear. Now, if you want to bring the coin back, it can be a little tricky to have to reach into your pocket and pull it out. So there is something you can do to make the disappearance a little bit easier, and also to make a reappearance a little bit easier, and that is by putting a magnet in your back Here. pocket. This will now make it very easy to ditch the coin and also retrieve it again. So as you uh, bring your hand down and the pen has disappeared, you then turn your body uh, away from the audience, grab the pen, leaving the coin attached to the magnet. Bring your hand back up and then make the coin disappear. Then what you could do is put the pen back in your pocket, grabbing the coin, and making it appear. Now if you wanted to do a little bit of extra setup, what you could do is take a duplicate coin and plant it somewhere in advance. That way, after you've made the coin disappear, you can make it appear literally anywhere. So maybe you sneak it into a friend's pocket, or it's in your shoe, or wherever you want. Uh, the crazier the, the location, uh, I think the more exciting uh, it could be. So that's it for this one. I hope uh, you guys enjoy that one. It's a fun little one. That, uh, that you can do almost anytime, anywhere, and, uh, and it'll get a little reaction. I don't know if it blows people's minds exactly, but, uh, but it's a neat one to, to try out. So try it out. If you have any issues uh, or any other questions, let me know. And uh, if you have an, any ideas for how to improve it, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.